Hello YouTube family, Greg D here with TGN and we are back for another DC UO video and we have some big news today. We got news regarding episode 39. We got episode or we got news for um the month of October being a fall fest uh where everyone's going to be getting some free Halloween stuff, free uh advance for your uh characters to uh, comment rating 255 so without further ado let's get into it but before we do if you guys could do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that thumbs up button as well really helps out the channel really helps out your boy so episode 39 long live the legion so we're going to read here from the website from the forums and i quote travel to the 31st century this november and long live the legion uh, the DCUO's next adventure or next episode features the future's bravest team, the Legion of Superheroes, a time traveling uh, adventure into the 31st century. So, first off, episodes coming in November. So, good deal. That's about a month away now or so, maybe a little more, maybe six weeks or so. Uh, regardless, uh, I think that's kind of interesting though. So, let's see what it says. In the future, the founding members of the Legion of Superheroes take inspiration. From our present day heroes to form a new team and face their 31 or 31st century threats. Chief among those threats in their oldest and timeless foe, Mordru. Having so far failed to defeat this stellar team, Mordru concocts a new plan, uses eldritch enhanced powers in the 31st century to destroy history's hero. Uh, let's see. So in, in Long Live the Legion, we will see Saturn Girl, Cosmic Boy, and Lightning Lad uncover Mordru's plan amidst exploding chaos in 31st century metropolis and have a clever thought who better to help protect their past and future metropolis than 21st so essentially much like every other uh legion of superhero story uh they're going to be traveling back in time to enlist our help to help save uh the world in the 21st century and the 31st century so that's kind of cool uh let's see uh, players must travel forward in time with the Teen Titans, the Legion's most direct inspiration, to set things right. Uh, so I'm guessing we're going to be seeing a lot of the Teen Titans in this episode as well. Uh, let's see, things to know about it. Uh, Long Live the Legion will offer standard and elite versions of content, with level agnostic event versions for the content available free to all players for a limited time. So basically, uh, as long as you're, I think it's level 10 or level 12, uh, you will be able to play episode 39 while that is the most current episode even if you don't have the memberships which is once again a very cool thing uh the episode will feature new and returning allies and adversaries including saturn girl cosmic boy lightning mad lightning lad as well as their foes mordru emerald empress and validius or validus the story will include adventures set in the distant future featuring 31st century metropolis the Legion's HQ, so a new environment. Thank you. Uh, I swear to God, if if the uh, 31st century Metropolis is basically the same Metropolis that we know, just some different stuff, I'm going to be really pissed. And more than likely that is because we all know DCUO likes to cut corners wherever they can. So, uh, this new episode will launch player rewards, including gear, artifacts, styles, base items, and feats. Uh, let's see, the open world 31st century metropolis will feature improved boss world, world boss encounters, rewards, and mechanics. So, uh, again, much like episode 38, they're going to be doing, uh, part of the actual story for the episode in the open world. There's going to be the open world bosses where you can get the, uh, secondary currency to probably unlock, you know, new, uh, generator mods and artifact stuff and that kind of thing. So... It'll be interesting what will come of what instances. Like, uh, personally, I would like to see one of everything. Let's do a solo, let's do a duo, let's do an alert, let's do a raid. Make it simple. That way you're covering all your bases, that way you're covering uh, people who like to play by themselves, people that have the leagues, people who like to just team up with their friends, whatever the case is. So, uh, I like the idea. I like the concept. Um... It's characters that we haven't yet seen in the game, which is very cool. Legion of Superheroes, so that's cool. Um, it's, it's characters that have been around DC Mythos for some time, and we've seen them in um, 
the the main thing that I can think of seeing as far as content is I think the TV show Smallville where the Legion of Superheroes was on that show. Uh, so uh, this will be kind of cool. Although it's at the same time, it's cool that they're using new characters, but at the same time, it's every Legion of Superheroes story is, is kind of the same. Let's go back into the past to find, uh, you know, help from our inspirations, our heroes, our, our uh, uh, mentors. And, you know, let's go back in time and we need your help. And, you know, that, you know, it, the Legion of Superheroes story has kind of been played out time and time and time and time again so in a way that kind of sucks like overall i'm excited that they're you know bringing us new characters and everything but like i said the the legion of superheroes is uh, i don't know i'm excited about the new episode but at the same time it's it's like i feel like the the story is going to play out like every other legion of superhero story that we've ever seen in comics and in tv and in, you know whatever so, I don't know. I hope that they don't... Um, honestly, I, I hope that they just don't rehash, like reskin Metropolis, which is probably what they'll do. It'll probably be the same Metropolis that we've seen, just kind of slightly tweaked. We will get a new uh, environment in the Legion's HQ, which is cool. Uh, like I said, don't get me wrong, the, the fact that we're going to have some new characters in the game is, is very cool. Some new enemies, very cool. I hope that they don't make too much of the story in the open world. Because with episode 38, I, I noticed for me personally, it's like I, I could never get a group to fight the open world bosses. And so I've never really been able to do them to this point. And that's kind of sucks. Um, so I... I I don't mind like there being a little bit of the story in the open world, but I don't want too much of the story being in the open world. I just want the story to be in the instances. That's personally what I like. You may think different. That's okay. Um, so it's coming in November. So we're probably about, like I said, a month, maybe five weeks away, uh, which is good, but I don't know. I'm excited, but at the same time, I, I don't want to get my hopes up too much. Uh, to be disappointed i will be i will be curious to see what sort of styles they bring so i'm wondering if there's going to be like three different styles are they going to have like a, a a cosmic boy inspired style a lightning lad inspired style and a saturn girl inspired style i'm assuming all the base items may be like uh, comic book covers that the legion have been featured in i'm assuming that's part of it um Feats will probably, you know, be the usual, you know, complete this in this amount of time, do this, defeat this amount of enemies, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm excited to see what they do with it. I'm hoping that it's not just rehash stuff, but I, but I know that some of it will be. And I hope that the story doesn't play out like every other Legion of Superheroes story. I think... Overall, I'm excited, but I don't want to get my hopes up too much in hopes that, or in the sense that I'm going to get let down. Because I'm optimistic, yet at the same time, I feel like I'm going to get let down because I feel like I know what's coming and DC never ends up surprising me. They always end up doing the same things and cutting corners. And I know part of it is because they only get so many ways to do things because of you know you need approval from dc and wb and all this stuff but i don't know so that's my take on it i'm excited i'm hopeful but i'm also preparing myself to be disappointed <laughs> if that makes sense so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below are you excited are you not excited what are you excited about what are you not excited about let me know in the comment section below Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And until next time, we'll see you soon.